From Montgomery to Hill, Green County and Paris, Porsche taking on the black belt. And she ain't scared. Marigo County, something kind of weird. Cops and Barbara interviewing everybody since the brothers and mamas. It's Porsche. Welcome to Porsche Texas on the Black Belt. We are live here at Tuskegee University. We're getting ready to go to the Youth Empowerment Summit, headed by the local extension office with Black Belt native, Uniontown native, Jamil Custer of Uniontown, Alabama. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. We're going to interview some of the people that's going to participate. Also, Ms. Custer, so she can motivate others to participate for next year. Of course, I'm standing in front of the Booker T. Washington statue. Y'all know who Booker T. was. He was a motivator. And one of the things that I agree with him, and it's so true today, that tech school and, 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 and two-year institution jobs are the jobs of the future. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's show. See you soon, and bye. We are live here at Tuskegee, ending the day with the person that's been running the show, Uniontown native, Miss Custer. Give her a hand, everybody. Woo! <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm tired. I just been to say, I know you are tired. This day has been amazing. Let's tell the people about what is this day about, how could they get someone on, and let's, let's go from there. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone, or afternoon, whenever you're viewing this. I am Jamila Custer, like she said, a native of Uniontown, Alabama. And today I invited her here to the prestigious Tuskegee University uh. to be a part of the <laughs> annual Youth Empowerment Summit. And it's a conference here on campus that I am the chair of and the coordinator. So each year we bring students from all of the nine Black Bell counties and we offer them an experiential learning experience that's jam packed with workshops. We have presenters, speakers, entertainment, and I make sure that there's a certain level of fun, fun for them because we're dealing with students from ninth through 12th grade. So they come here, it starts in the morning at 8 a.m. and we end at nighttime with a social at 7.30 for our far west Alabama schools who stay overnight, like Lowndes County. So that's pretty much the overall gist of what the Youth Empowerment Summit is. And this is our sixth year, and this is my fourth year as the coordinator. Wow, this has been amazing. How could students from like Marengo, Perry, hey, the people who watch this show, get these kids? This, I mean, you guys had a list of an itinerary. You had workshops going on. Not just, you know, just a, a over, I, I hope I stayed on task today. I uh, tried to bring everything together. You had, a, you had a student speaker who was fantastic, who they, they saw early on the show. How could they actually get them to get this experience? Okay, so this conference is put on by the Cooperative Extension Program at Tuskegee University out of our College of Agriculture, Environment, and Nutrition Sciences. And so we have county agents, which is my official title, in each of our nine Black Belt counties and surrounding areas. So I send out the information to those agents, I send them out to the schools in those areas, and then we have a certain recruitment number. So each school is given a certain amount of students or participants that they can bring. We bring them to campus and then we offer them all the activities that she mentioned. Um, like the Success Story Luncheon where we nominate students from our Black Belt counties and give them recognition for the amazing things that they're doing. Like I said, not just academically, but also in the community and in their churches and for their futures. So in the future, I hope to tap more into our Marengo Hill. We did have Perry County come one year. So I do want to tap more into our West Alabama counties. I'm working now to see what we can do about funding to get them here, because usually right. that's, the, that's problem, the problem, busing them all the way here. Um, and that's a task, a goal I have for myself each right. year, trying to get more and more students from West Alabama and not just the counties that we serve closer to Tuskegee. Okay. Now, one thing, you know, I have a couple people be like, oh, I want to do more in the Black Belt. This is one of the things that you can do by reaching her. How can people reach you? Okay. So, I can be reached. My office is in Bullitt County. That's the home county that I'm assigned in Union Springs, Alabama. And the telephone number there is 334-738-2580. Now, I'm only assigned Barber, Bullock, and Macon counties. However, if you get in contact with me, I can get you in contact with the person in your county that will be able to help you with any type of youth programs. Even if it's just youth things, because our county agents deal with um, our older population, they deal with people on the farms, all those different kind of things. It's just that the youth part is my main focus, so that's where my programs come from. So if you call me at my office, 334-738-2580, I can get you in contact with someone, or depending on what your needs are, we can work hand in hand. I can see if I can come to your county myself. 
All right. So you heard it from the horse's mouth. I didn't even have to say the thing. This is a. This is a. This is. This is my. This is my neighbor growing up and looking the great thing that she's doing and giving back to the black belt. Y'all know that's what I'm about. Thank you so much for sitting down with me for giving me this opportunity. I've enjoyed myself today. The lunch, sweet potato, was the bomb. Oh, that's souffle. The, yes. But baby, that's souffle, baby. Do you hear me? But I appreciate the opportunity for having us today, and we'll see you soon. All right. Hey, we are still here at Tuskegee University. I am speaking to one of the, the luncheon speakers today, Mr. Kendari. Did, did I pronounce it correct? Yes, All right. Well, what, you know, in your speech you discussed molding champions. And you talked about the steps to be a champion. But one thing you said at the end that I thought was remarkable. You said that in order to do, you can learn these things, but if you don't apply, then what will happen? I don't know. It's really because I believe all people deserve a second chance. A lot of people, they don't, they do wrong because it's not that they don't know that they're doing wrong. It's because they don't have someone to, that believes in them. A lot of people really think that they are on their own. They forget that the world isn't against them. Why? They just need to. They just need to remember that there is someone willing to be able to help you. You just gotta be able. You just wanna be. You, gotta, you just gotta wanna be helped. Right. Much. Okay. It's now, great. last quick thing, she talked about the 4-H contest, and that you started. How old were you? What grade you in? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. So you went from sixth grade to your tenth grade without winning no competition. Yes, ma'am. And in your tenth grade year, God said, "Here's your opportunity." Tell the people that are watching and the young people to encourage them the importance of 4-H, the importance of what you're experiencing here, and how how it is going to be able to make them be great. A lot of the, a lot of the, the opportunities I've had, I feel like all all the failures that I've had, all the all the misplacements, everything that I've had that has happened, it has it nurtured me for that moment to be able to to be able to win. Right. You have to you have to lose before you win. You have to, it have to get hard before wow. it get easy. And it's like a lot of a lot with 4-H, mm -hmm. 4-H is just that they teach you how to handle how to handle that. 4-H okay. teaches you. The community, the, you have to help your community, you have to be there for your community because when you help your community, you always you also help yourself. Right. Losing, losing is a part of it. When you lose, you help yourself. Right. And you, you, keep, you, keep, you keep pushing to be better. Yes. All right. Any parting words that you want to encourage anyone that's watching today from the Black Belt of Alabama? Um, one thing I like to say is just always, always be yourself. Always do you. You're the only, you're the only person that can, that can stop you. Nobody can get in the way of your success. Only you can get in the way of your success. All right, wise words, wise words from a young man. 10th grade, this is, I can't even believe he's in the 10th grade. Thank you for watching tonight's show. We'll go to the next. See you soon. All right, this is Clay Bass Jr. He made sure he put that Jr. up in there. Clay, tell the people about what your experience about going to the workshop today and what this program actually is doing for you. Well, this program has done a lot for me in the past two years and a lot for me in the future. Okay. And I can see that the things that they're telling us, the things that are helping us, is better preparing us for the future than okay. it is at one of the best high schools in the world, Liberty Washington. All right, all right, all right. And it's, you know, it's preparing us for the world, preparing us for what we have to do better on in life. And I've learned a lot from these past two years. It's my second year going. Okay, okay. And it's really been helping me uh, proceed in my well, my career was trying to go to my career. And, Which is? Well, I, I would like to be a mechanical engineer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm a major mechanical engineer, and I would try to, you know, it, it's, it's a fantasy, but I would like to be a NASCAR driver. So. Oh, wow. Hey, you get, hey, get that button in and actually do it. Right. After you heard this speech today, you know, that's your butt. That's, that's your, your, your point. That's your cousin. Okay. What did that make you? How did that make you feel? You saw him on that stage. You saw him speaking and, and giving and pouring out his heart. What is it that you learned from that, and what are you willing to take back? Well, I've learned a lot from this man right here, and he has taught me a lot ever since I was first saw him when I was very, very little. Okay. And, you know, we you know played a lot and everything for our years, and I've heard him speak, but you know, I think that this speech that he did today was very impactful, right, very right. powerful. What he has did. And uh, it, it has taught me, you know, to never stop, just keep striving, keep going, and what my mom and my dad always tells me, and that uh, I, I just need to, you know, keep going. Yeah, he's very powerful, man, very powerful. He reminds me of Martin Luther King. Oh, wow, yeah, he did great. He did great. He his way, and I can see it the way he speaks. And so I really do thank him for helping me strive in my life and helping me with all my problems I've had in the past. So, yeah. All right, so you heard from two young, impactful young men saying that they want to be great 
and working towards the greatness. And it takes work and dedication. And thank you for talking with me today. All right, bye-bye. We're still live here in Tuskegee University, and we have Ms. Shipman. Ms. Shipman, tell us about the kids that you brought here today. Well, we brought our honors group from uh, Barber County High School, located in Clayton, Alabama. Wow. And I brought two of my uh, special needs kids from, we just got them out of the job. Wow. And I've been doing everything to expose them to positive things to change their environment to let them know that their experiences doesn't hinder their process from moving forward. Okay, now what, what do you think about this program here that they have going on here at Texas? The YES program is a very outstanding program and I commend Tuskegee University for what they're doing to expose our rural area kids to get uh, experience firsthand uh -huh. and to know that they can be better than through exposing them to positive things like the YES program, this encourages them to speak and to listen well and to understand that their experiences do not hamper them for being all that God has created them to be. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Well, I appreciate you, Shirley. Thank you so much for your kind work, and we'll be back. Thanks for watching, and bye bye. This is another Too Cool production. production. Well, the kingdom is my business, but not this right here is personal.